Mm. All right, guys, I'm going to give you my opinion of the John Deere 1915B. I had a, with a 48 inch deck, <clears throat> I had a John Deere 717. I guess I had that thing for probably, gosh, um, I basically wore the deck out on it, using it so much. Um, you can't beat that 700 series in the John Deere. So if they still had a new one of the 717, I would have bought it. Um, awesome mower. Motor was a little small, and I had the bagger for the 717 also. But the 19 horse was a little, it was a little low with a 48 inch deck. So anyway, I stepped up to this 9, uh, 915B. In my personal opinion, it's a good mower. My personal opinion, it's not as good as that, that um, small frame 717. But let me show you why. I say that on the 717 you had fuel on one side hydraulic fluid on the other side it equaled the, the weight out of that mower so now you have fuel we'll go over here this is empty so the weight distribution <laughs> isn't the same I'd take that 717 and put her anywhere. This one, I had the problem if I was going sideways on a hill with my chute pointing up. In other words, this, this side being on the upper end, um, it would slide. And that's because all the weight is over here you don't have any over there so that, that's one of the big differences in the two this one has the hydraulic fluid up underneath the seat what this mower does not come with new is that bumper you buy the bigger mowers and they come with that that weighted bumper and i think that's about it's about 80 pounds but you can get one. And if, and if you deal with the same John Deere dealership, I'm sure that um, they have some non new ones laying around and they'll give you a good price on it. I deal with Carolina Line and Tractor in Taylor, South Carolina. That's the only people I deal with. And um, I got to, they give me a good price on that. But I had searched on YouTube about these mowers. And I didn't find anything that I searched for like weight distribution, um, bumper, things like that. I didn't find anything that said, hey, how can I alleviate this mower sliding on heels? Put the bumper on and um, made a world of difference. It, it'll still slide a little bit. Because this, this weight is a little higher than that, that 717. That 717 set lower. Um, it was a little tighter of a frame, smaller of a frame, or a mini frame, or whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, on the 915 um, Z track, um, to alleviate your problems, you're going to have to get that bumper. You have to. Keep you from tearing yards up. It just gets weight closer to the ground on the back um, other than that she's been a she's been a good mower the pto that pto switch um i've got to need to replace it this will be the third one and i've got i'm pushing uh 600 hours and it's june it was uh, two years old, so uh, so we're two and a half years pushing 600 hours, and that'll be the I think it'll be the third switch that I've 
I've had to put on. There's a problem with those. Um, other than that, she's a good mower. You have to get that bumper.